everyone, Bria here from Extract URL, and today I'm going to give you three last minute study tips that you can implement during your last week of studying for exam P or FM, and they'll help you boost your chances of passing. So I'm going to do these in reverse order. So the, the tip that I give at the very end will be the one that I think is the most important. Okay, so let's get into it. Tip number three is to review formulas before bed. Now, if you didn't know, when we're sleeping, our brain actually strengthens our newest memories and that makes it easier to recall when we wake up and, and for days into the future. So if you study your formula sheet within the last five to 10 minutes before you go to sleep, that will really help your brain to recall these formulas later on which obviously for the exam, you'll want to be able to recall those as quickly as possible. So if you spend your last seven or so days doing this kind of routine before bed, it'll really help boost your chances of being able to remember those formulas on exam day. Okay, tip number two is to write the six minute mark at the top of your page. Now, let me explain this a little bit. So, as you know, especially for exam P, you have exactly six minutes for each question if you, if you evenly distribute your time between each question. Now, for exam FM, there's a, a little less because you actually have 35 questions that you have to answer in three hours. But what I recommend you do is when you start a new question, you should write when you have to be done that question right in the top corner of the page. So if you start a question at time 20, for example, you should write 26 at the top of top corner of the page and you know when you get to time 26 that you have to stop. And do not let yourself go past that six minutes because what I find a lot of the time, especially when I was doing these, is that I'd always say, oh, I'm so close, I'll just take one more minute and then I'll move on to the next question. But a lot of the time it actually took me three or four minutes and then I'd be halfway through my time for the next question. And that's actually a really good tip for time management on exam day because you do not want to let yourself consistently go over the six minute mark. Otherwise, you're going to be really rushed at the end and probably won't have time to finish all the questions. Okay, and tip number three, or I guess this is tip number one because this is the one I think is the most important. And during your last seven days of studying, what you should do is go through all the questions that you've gotten wrong during your study period so far, all of them. Now, I'm gonna to link to a video here about why it's good to actually get questions wrong, but the reason that it's good is because those are questions that you know you need to work on. So if during your last seven days of studying, you really drill hard on those questions that you got wrong during your study period, you're gonna have a much better chance of being able to get questions like those right on exam day. So this really gives you an overall review of the, the concepts that were the toughest for you during your studying. And if you review them during your last seven days, you're gonna have those concepts fresh in your mind for exam day. So those are my top three tips, last minute tips for exam P and FM. So I hope they helped. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video um, that will link to the blog post for this. And at the bottom of that blog post, you can go sign up for free exam P tips and advice. I send lots of tips and stuff through email, so you can sign up to get those. See you in the next video, bye.